Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what are the main differences between static routing and dynamic routing in computer networks. So static routing and dynamic routing are the important concept in routing algorithms. So before going to static routing and dynamic routing. So what is routing? Routing is the process of transferring packets from source to destination across the network. Okay, this can be done by using a routing protocols. Okay, here routing algorithms are divided into two main categories. First one is uh, adaptive routing and the second one is non-adaptive routing. Okay, so adaptive routing is also known as dynamic routing. Non-adaptive routing is also known as static routing. Okay, so now we are concentrate on what are the main differences between so adaptive and non-adaptive routing over are static routing and dynamic routing. Okay. So first difference. So this is a dynamic or adaptive routing. This is a static or non-adaptive routing. So first point, dynamic routing is also known as adaptive routing. Static routing is also known as non-adaptive routing. Okay. Second point, in dynamic routing, so the, route, the network administrator does not have to enter any entries into the routing table. The entries are auto-generated. So that means in dynamic routing, the network administrator does not have the capability to enter any entries into the routing table if any changes are done in the network. Okay, so the entries are auto-generated. The entries are auto-generated. The network administrator does not have any capability to do entries into the routing table. Okay. So, and hence we can say that the entries in the routing table are auto-generated in the case of dynamic routing. Okay, whereas in the case of static routing, the network administrator has the capability to enter entries into the routing table. Okay, so... This is the main difference between static routing and dynamic routing. Okay, in static routing, the network administrator have to enter entries into the routing table. Whereas in the case of dynamic routing, the network administrator does not have to enter any entries into the routing table. So, the entries are auto-generated in the case of dynamic programming. Okay, next, third point. In dynamic programming, routing tables are periodically updated and hence it is a sensitive to any changes in the network. Okay, so in the dynamic routing, the routing tables are periodically updated if any changes are done in the network. Okay, if any changes are done in the network, then the routing tables are periodically updated. The routing tables are immediately updated in the dynamic routing. So because of that reason, it is sensitive to any changes in the network in dynamic programming. So, whereas in the case of uh, static routing, static routing does not involve any changes are done in the uh, routing table. Okay, because here the network administrator have to enter entries into the routing table manually. 
unless the network administrator have to enter any entries into the routing table then the routing tables are not are are, are not involve any changes okay only in the case of static routing the network administrator have to enter entries into the routing table if the network administrator does not enter any entries into the routing table so okay so the routing tables are not do any changes okay in the case of does not involve any changes in the routing table okay here the routing tables are updated periodically okay the network administrator does not the network administrator does not have to enter entries into the routing table the routing tables are periodically updated whenever any changes done in the network so that can be done in dynamic programming in the case of static programming unless the network administrator uh, have to enter any entries into the routing table so there is no possibility of any changes in the routing table okay in the case of static routing next one dynamic routing is suitable for larger networks okay so dynamic dynamic routing is suitable for larger networks whereas in the case of static routing is in a, inappropriate for larger networks and continuously changing constantly changing networks okay so static routing is suitable for smaller networks only whereas in the case of dynamic programming dynamic programming is suitable for larger networks okay next one in dynamic programming the routers are updated as topology changes okay so in the network any changes are done then the routing tables are immediately periodically updated okay if any network changes are done in the dynamic routing the routing tables are updated okay in the case of static routing the routers are user defined the routers are user defined because the entries into the routing table that can be done by the network administrator manually so because of that reason we can say that in static routing the routers are user defined the routers are user defined because the entries into the routing table that can be done by the network administrator manually here in the case of dynamic programming the routers are updated whenever any changes done in the network or topology next one dynamic routing requires additional resources such as memory and bandwidth okay as the name implies so dynamic routing is nothing but we have to change we have to we have to done any changes in the network that means we have to add more number of nodes okay so because of that reason dynamic routing requires additional resources such as bandwidth and memory but in the case of static routing so as the name implies static is nothing but fixed okay so in the case of static routing static routing does not require any additional resources such as memory and bandwidth okay next one dynamic routing is automated it uses complex routing algorithm okay in the case of dynamic routing the routing tables are updated or the routing entries are also auto generated so because of the reason so to process that uh, routing to process that one we have to use complex routing algorithms okay so dynamic routing is automated okay automated is nothing but 
the entries or enters into the routing table are done automatically. So because of that reason, it requires to process that uh, information, we have to use some complex routing algorithms. Okay. So dynamic routing is automated. So it uses complex routing algorithms. Whereas in the case of static routing, static routing is manual. It is uh, dynamic routing is automated. Static routing is manual. So because of that way, because of uh, automating, automated, so dynamic routing, uh, in, the, in the case of dynamic routing, we have to use complex routing algorithms. Okay, but here static routing is a manual. So because of that reason, it, is, it does not require any complex routing algorithms. Okay, next one, dynamic routing involves some protocols, that protocols RIP protocol and BGP protocol, border gateway protocol. Okay, so here static routing does not require such protocols such as RIP and BGP protocols. Okay, here these are the complex routing algorithm protocols. Okay, here the entries are auto-generated. Okay, the dynamic the dynamic routing is automated because of the uh, because of the reason dynamic routing uses complex routing algorithms okay in the complex routing algorithms we have to use uh, uh, complex protocols such as rip and bgp whereas uh, static routing is manual because of that reason, it does not require complex routing protocols such as RIP and uh, BGP protocol. Okay, here the entries are auto-generated. Here the entries into the routing table are done manually. Okay, it requires dynamic routing requires additional resources such as bandwidth and memory. In static routing, it does not require any additional resources. So dynamic routing is suitable for larger networks, whereas a static routing is suitable for smaller networks. Here the entries enters into the routing table are, uh, uh, are done manually, are done automated. Because of that reason, the entries are auto-generated. Here, the entries are enters into the routing table that can be done by the network administrator. Okay, so routing uh, here, dynamic routing is also known as uh, adaptive routing, whereas static routing is also known as non-adaptive 